NaNoWriMo day one. One funny thing that I realized today while I was writing is that um, the only character name that I've figured out is for my main character. And so everyone else um, in this story that I'm writing doesn't have a character name yet and I'm very picky with my character name so I have to like really think about it and really look up the meanings and all that you know all that weird writer stuff that we all do anyway um so I've had to like write in brackets their roles but I'm running out of descriptions like I'd be like best friend's brother best friend's ex-boyfriend best friend's boyfriend there aren't that many characters at the moment but you know what I mean. It is day two of NaNoWriMo. I haven't started writing and it's 11 o'clock which is when my second writing session is supposed to go according to my timetable if I wanted to follow my habit. Um, so obviously that's not going very well. Oh and I have been using my note cards in between my drafting because the way that I've been outlining is more of a larger scope um, story wise and like premise and like character and all of these like internal kind of uh, things that I want to happen in my story so I haven't really been doing like the scene by scene type of thing because I find it really really hard to do that so um, I've been kind of pantsing it when it comes to that um, like I know where my story is going but um, for the most part all of the scenes are just me you know pantsing it and so while I'm doing that in between all of my writing sessions I've been putting him in these note cards so that I can see all the scenes that I have in my story and uh, later on when I'm editing or something um, when I'm going through my second draft I can kind of see which scenes I want to keep see which scenes I want to fix and which scenes I want to you know get rid of I'm not gonna lie I didn't think I had any words in me today oh, what are we doing Ash? we are watching child the good news is I think I've come up with a little bit of a subplot that um, is super exciting but is also connected to the main plot, um, if that makes sense. Um, the bad news is I'm kind of at this point, at this bridging point where I'm trying to get from one signpost of the story to the next and I'm having a little bit of trouble um, figuring out how I want to get to that next signpost, I guess. I just hit 10,000 words and I'm so tired. <laughs> no, but seriously though, I made two mistakes in the last two days. One of them is that I started sort of outlining in between my drafting, which I think you're not supposed to do because then that leads you to draft while also overthinking and I think that's kind of part of the reason why I've been going through not so much a slump, I don't want to call it a slump but it's more of like my words are slowing down or maybe that's just kind of how NaNoWriMo works because <laughs> that's how it's worked for me in the past it's never happened this early though uh, but I am pushing through it I feel like my signposts that I've uh, created in the outlining process in October were so big picture that I couldn't just jump from one signpost to the other I needed little events to kind of create a domino effect to get to the very end um, and I haven't figured out those little pieces in between the the taller signposts if that metaphor makes any sense so I want to go back to my outline tonight because for once my eyes aren't burning out of my eye sockets <laughs> so I want to I want to do some a little bit of uh, tweaking and a little bit of outlining and a little bit of um, detailed uh, plot kind of fixing and all that stuff and the second mistake that I made is I started two new books one of them is um, I thought it would be a good idea to start a fantasy because I'm writing contemporary and I usually write contemporary and so I wanted something different um, so I picked up Hunted by Megan Spooner 
and I'm actually really enjoying it. I'm hooked. I don't have a physical copy, but I am listening to it on audiobook because um, I just need an audiobook at the moment because when I'm not staring at my own words on the computer, I want to be able to close my eyes. I also got um, a used copy of Radio Silence by Alice Oseman. Um, that I ordered two weeks ago and I ordered it from a books thinking that it would come around December-ish and so I kind of didn't expect that I would get it today but I did get it today and I started it and I'm so hooked which I knew I was going to be which is why I didn't want to get the book now which is why I ordered you know a used copy because I knew it would take longer to get here I um, mean now and now it's gotten here you know quicker than I thought and I usually don't complain about that but I just really want to read those two books right now and I don't want to because I don't want to step away from my own story so yeah <laughs> so because I hit 10,000 words yesterday I wanted to treat myself a little bit and I went to the bookstore today and bought myself a copy of Hunted by Megan Spooner. But anyway, what I've been doing in the past uh, week is whenever I go to the gym, I would bring my laptop with me so that I would uh, finish up at the gym and then I would sit in front of the bookstore or at a cafe or something and I would sit there and write and it's a really good thing for me because I'm not able to use the internet as much as I would if I were at home because at home I have Wi-Fi um, you know at the mall I have like a limited amount of free Wi-Fi so yeah I actually had a pretty good writing day I know I didn't mention it in the past couple of days but the past week or so have felt so sluggish for me in terms of writing and last night I did what I told you that I would do which is to go back to my outline and kind of work out some scenes that I wanted to work on today and that actually really really helped because I felt like the words were flowing a lot easier than it has been for the past couple of days so that's been pretty good.